Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Orange Men Podcast. Dave and Clint here with you on another Friday night, spinning the truth, telling the truth as we see it, whether you like it or not. Yeah, man. What's up, Clint? Are we going? We're on, bro. All right. Uh, another great week of news, chock full of uh, information. So I'm excited to get into these. All right. Well, uh, the Al- I, I can't even say his name, so I'm not going to say it. The Al the Al Qaeda dot guy got was killed. Yeah, Turn- that was that was the big news of the week. Yeah, it turns out he's been dead. Uh, allegedly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yes, there's news reports, news articles, and uh, we do happen to have it. So take it for what it's worth. It was a uh, 11 20, 2020 is when when these articles came out and the video from foreign news agencies in the region. So I would think they would have more knowledge of the situation. Uh, I guess so. Um, Even though our CIA is supposed to be the best, the FBI is the best. Well, everybody's corrupt now, so I mean, they're and just they're yeah. just spewing. Dude, we're in, we're in, we're in big trouble. Ah, uh, you can't have a you can't have a Betsy Ross flag. You can't have a come and take me stick take it sticker. You can't have a uh, don't tread on me flag anymore. It's all. What happened? Oh, you didn't see that? No. Ah, oh, that was the new. Uh, Domestic terrorist symbols. Oh. That came out this... Another another thing that came out this week in the FBI. So, we're blowing up. We're drone striking f- guys that have already been dead. Fake guys. Fake guys. And even if you do drone strike something, it's pretty devastating, right? Yeah, and the Taliban. The ta- how, how, do you find Taliban. Bo- how do you find bodies and identify them after well, you we ha- pulverize them? Yeah, well, we have no assets on the ground, so... It's it's curious to say the least. Oh yeah, we're not in Afghanistan anymore, are we? Well, neither was Al Qaeda, but this guy just happens to be on a balcony of some, I guess some somewhere in the middle of somewhere, holding up a baby. Where yeah, and there's you know there's no DNA, there's no pictures, there's nobody. Even the Taliban are like, yeah, we don't think that happened. Now I'm not taking their word for it, but. It's a little suspicious. My poll numbers are bad. Let me dust off the old. We just drone strike the, the number, the new Al Qaeda terrorist. Under here. my direction. Yeah, under my direction and my tutelage. He can't even direct himself to the bathroom. And we're also coming up to the the one year anniversary of what was that? August twentieth, when all the you know the, the Marines got killed and the service members in the the hasty pullout of Afghanistan. So we have to make. St- we have to try to make something look good, sorry, but no, no. Two weeks ago, we killed the guy. Remember, we we told you we killed that guy. So let's let's not have one year anniversaries and remember to fall in and all this other stuff about the hasty withdrawal. Oh, they killed that guy on the same date that they pulled out. No, no, no. That's uh, coming up. I think that's like you made you made it sound very sexual. Hasty pullout. Oh, uh, I meant yeah. Well, when they gave the Taliban over back to the country and. John Kirby disagrees that we just didn't give it back to them. We didn't give them back the whole country. Oh. Is what he said. Okay. I guess. All right, let's uh let's listen to Joe. Even these two Joes don't even look alike. No. And they're a year apart. Or whatever, a couple months. I guess. And Al Qaeda is degraded in Iraq and Afghanistan. What interest do we have in Afghanistan at this point with Al Qaeda gone? In my direction. The United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan, that killed the Emir of Al Qaeda, Iman al Zawiri. You know, Zawiri was uh, bin Laden's leader. He was a bad guy. He was a bad dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, because we didn't know that the guy so, happened to be in Kabul, which is a big city in Afghanistan. This is from 11 20, 20, 2020. 11 20, 2020. Yeah. Okay. So Joe Biden's claiming that he killed him. And this is uh, a little over a year ago? No, two years ago. Yeah. This dude's been dead for two years? That's what they're claiming. 
Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Well, like I said, it's we're in a crazy. Ayman al Zawahiri has died in Afghanistan. The 69-year-old Egyptian national who was hitting Al-Qaeda has reportedly died of natural causes. al Zawahiri <laughs> was the leader of the terrorist group Al-Qaeda since 2011, succeeding Osama bin Laden. At least two senior officials who were next in line to replace him were also recently killed. That is Hamza bin Laden, the son of former Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, and Abu Muhammad al-Mazri, who was killed in Iran this year. As per Arab News, Al-Qaeda chief Al-Zawahiri died due to natural causes. The unnamed okay. sources from Afghanistan and Pakistan have confirmed the same. So yeah. My man's dead already two years earlier and we killed him again. You know, that's impressive. Yeah, well... Joe listen, Biden done killed him twice. It's all allegedly, of course. I well, mean... Like I said, that they're they're I don't buy for a fucking second. That news that news reports in the region. You know what I mean? So it's it's a little. <laughs> we're just going by the the known liars. These I mean, this administration's been lying since they got into office, and yet now you're gonna believe them. They lied their way in. Yeah, and it's not like again. It's and then they put out the whole. Uh, <laughs> they put out the whole. Uh, do, do, be. Be be aware, be on the lookout for, uh, you know, situations that may happen here, you know, in retaliation for this guy. And it's like, I don't even, nobody cares about this guy anymore. All right. So we're, I think, we're just, I think, I think we're over Afghanistan and stuff. It's just another, it's just another thing that we can go. Look, we took, the midterms are coming kind of like what, what kind of like, uh, uh, Obama, like the, no, what Obama did with uh, Bin Laden. They knew where he was the whole time. Don't think they, they didn't. Did we ever see his body? No, nah, they, they floated him out in the ocean because they they thought it was disrespectful to show his body or actually. Disrespectful? Yeah. Like he deserves any? I guess. I don't know. All right. So, you know, everything this fucking government does, I'm I'm suspicious of. Not, not only now, but prior governments. I mean. Just you just don't know what to believe anymore. Well, as long as you have the propaganda news media on your side, I guess you're pretty much all right because they they they're carrying the water for this for this for this administration at least. Yeah. I mean, this guy. Every time there's something wrong, it's like, well, is it really that bad? <laughs> what do you think the? I mean, what do you think the end game is? Destroy America from within, and then and then what? I don't know. I guess we'll all be speaking Mandarin, like you said a couple of weeks ago. We'll all be speaking Chinese. We'll all be working in the lithium mines. I don't know, man. I don't know what the end game is. It's it's the it's the globalist destruction of of the last bastion of freedom, I guess. And you know, kind of. But, but what are all these people that are trying to destroy America? What do they think they're going to get? What do you think they're going to be allowed to rule? Yeah, servitude, servants. But is that what they think? That's what they want to believe. I mean, once you destroy the United States of America and its military might, you ain't ruling shit, pal. It's whoever else wants to come in and rule you. Well, they, that's the whole point of they want to take your guns away. They want to take your stuff away. They don't want you to have anything. You'll own nothing and you'll like it because... Yeah, but there'll be nothing. Yeah, but it doesn't matter to them because they'll have everything. No, they won't. They won't? No. Why wouldn't they? If you destroy you're America, you're still going to produce. You're still going to do your thing. They're going to force it upon you. That's all. That's what I'm how? saying. <laughs> they're not going to make you go to work. No, I mean, but they're not, they're not going to make you do well, things. Who do you think's going to be the new rulers? I don't know. It's going to be somebody that comes what? in and takes us out. Isn't it? Isn't going to be the Soroses of the world? I don't think it's these stupid billionaires. <laughs> I don't think it's like they're that. all going to be fucking done. This was listen. This was the whole point of the. 16 year plan with Obama and Hillary when she wasn't supposed to lose. So they want to turn our sovereignty over to other countries. They want it to be like how the EU is, how it's, you have one group of people that live in Brussels and they tell everybody in, in the Europe, your <laughs> European union, this is the money you're going to use. This is what we're going to rule. And this is how our laws are going to be. And you know, you're, you're, it's basically like the mob boss. You're just kicking what back. What did you just say? 
<laughs> you just kick them back your funds and your taxes and your money. Wow. All right. Uh, I don't, I don't see how they're going to get away with it or pull, well not we're not going to let them get them, away with it. We're trying. We're trying to fight. That's why you have the Dutch farmers. That's why you have the farmers over there throwing their it's it's a bigger problem than it is just here. It's just we're we're the last place that's you, that's going to be the hardest to fight because we're assholes. <laughs> I mean, even on both sides, no matter what side you're on, you, you're still going to be like, all right, listen, I, at some point, it's kind of like, at some point, when are you going to be like, yeah, I don't really know that I want to do all this stuff. I don't want to eat bugs. I don't want to give up my car. I like my life. But these people know what's best for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. I, I but don't that's know. the way they act. That was the whole point of like Klaus and his, his uh, especially this year with the World Economic Forum, when they were like, this is the, this is the, what he, he said, uh, he called themselves like the, uh, I forget what it was. It was something like, the, they're the people that are, we're, we're the ones that are going to be the ones in power. Not in power, but we're the, uh, I forget how he stated it, but it was something like, this group of people here are the ones that are going to control the the minions, so to speak. I'm a minion? It might as well be. All right. I guess. So what do you think about this Taiwan trip that Pelosi took? Uh, it's probably just she was checking on her investment <laughs> for, her, right. for her semiconductors. Well, she's already on her way back. Yeah, that didn't last very long. Well, I, was, I mean, it's, I don't know, man. Is it the, this is the, 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 all the world is a stage. Is that what we're doing here? You know what I mean? Like, it's just one distraction after another to get everybody fired up. Like, send Pelosi. Listen, I don't, they, China wasn't going to do anything anyway, no matter how much they, they're tough talking. But they could very well take Taiwan. And what's Joe going to do? Because Taiwan is just like, what? The Ukraine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're in the same boat. They're not a state. They're not recognized. You know what I mean? They're they're part of, you know, they got their own little country, but. Not recognized by what? Well, they're not in the NATO either. They're like the Ukraine. Oh. They're just another nation that happens to be. Well, this apparently has been going on for a long time. Oh well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's they because China wants it back too. That's what. I, but they've been protected, and we've helped the allies or the the NATO countries have helped them try to maintain their sovereignty. As with the Ukraine, but but the uh, jobs report's really good. <laughs> for what Taiwan? Oh, for for the United States. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we got a good jobs report. Do we? Can't make any money, but at least you can go to work. I don't know. Can you? All of a sudden, it, well, yeah, there's plenty of jobs. Where'd you hear that? What? That the jobs report was good. Joe Biden said it. Oh, that's another, yeah, that's another lie too. But, but let's just say it is the truth. Okay. It doesn't change anything. No. Because. Your wages are shit compared to the inflation. Yes. So most people are probably better off not working and doling off the government. Well, that's what they want. That's part of the agenda. I just. It's the socialism thing. That's what, the, like you were saying, it's, it's. This whole world is a shit show. And and he's touting job report. Is he insane? Yeah, because that's, that's all they. Yeah, but again, that's. Why, why don't you. Focus on the good things Joe did. But that's all smoke and mirrors too. Like we've said, go into the labor and statistics website and they'll tell you. I sent you an article that says Amazon, Google, and everybody else. Amazon's laying off 100,000 people. Why? Because they because they have to. Because, I mean, surprisingly, I guess not. <laughs> people, their funding is down because not everybody has all this extra, you know, spendable income that just blow on nonsense. So... I guess they have to shortchange some of their workers. Oh. Netflix is about, 20, they're losing 20%. They're cutting 20% of their work, workforce. 
Google's, I think, cutting about 25% of their workforce. Now, I guess you could go, well, that's not all in America. Whatever. I'm sure it is. Hmm. Your mic looks a little wobbly. It's the table, bro. Yeah, but mine's pretty tight. Well, it's, it's wobbly. Does it bother you? No. So I don't care. Stop looking at my I mic. Just, I just didn't want it to drop off. and. It's not going to drop anywhere. All right. all right. I might drop off. What a jobs report, it's like I said, it's all, like we said last week, too. It's, it's all, it's fugazi. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's you can in have, the wind. It's you can just have numbers. everybody it's working. Just here. It's just here. You can have everybody working. It doesn't, it's done nothing for the economy. The economy's still shit. Fuel prices are still $4 a gallon. Well, the funny part is. And now the government wants to spend more money. I remember, I remember when Trump would tout the jobs <clears> reports <throat> and, and, uh, you know, the talking heads for the other side would go, well, how many of those people are working double two jobs? Maybe even three jobs. That's what's maybe that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, I think people are probably doing the same thing now because they have to, like you just said, they have to cover for the inflation and make up the difference because the shit ain't adding up. While you're, while you, when while, you, while when the you, taxes and your prices have gone up, your wages haven't. I mean, most people. When, when's fiscal year for most works? February, March, like most jobs, most corporations. February, yeah. So your your little three percent increase, whatever you may have gotten. I know Joe said a couple weeks ago. Well, you know, if you got a seven percent increase or maybe a nine, who the fuck gets a nine percent other than Congress because they write the bill and goes, oh, we need a ten percent increase. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> for, it's funny for that our they, balance. It's funny how the American people don't know where the money comes from. It's it's sad. They think like the government's got this magic pocketbook and they could just. Well, they do print it. More money's been printed in the last two and a half years. Well, that's why we have even, that's why we have record inflation. Even under Trump, I, I won't I won't disagree. I mean, he he signed a couple of those, you know, the whatever bills he signed and stuff. Yeah, you know, well, given, he, he shouldn't have. But I, I I'm not cowed to the COVID. I'm not blaming one one group or the other. But in the last two and a half years, we've printed more money than in the last fifty. And yes, you can go look it up, and I'm not going to go find it for you. Because it's easy enough to find. I didn't say anything. No, I'm talking to the, to the to the commenters out there that go, "Where's your facts? Where's your stats?" Listen, I don't need facts and stats to walk out my front door. I know, I know that the shelves are empty, the prices are. Let me just tell you, what's up? I went to uh, Atlantic City today or last night mm -hmm. and today, and we went to dinner. Yeah, a place where we typically go to dinner <laughs> while we're down there. Right, right. It's uh, one of guy. Guy Fieri's? Yeah. Flavor Town? No, it was a chop house. No, no, I'm just What's Flavor Town? That's that's his like nickname for his fucking bullshit restaurants. Uh well it was uh the chop house mm -hmm. and we used to go in there and we used to get Loaded. No, we used to get um I mean the food was really good. I mean oh, don't 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 get me wrong, but I mean they got rid of all the raw seafood. They got rid of all the seafood. Probably they cost got too rid much of, money. They got rid of the sushi. Yeah. Because they couldn't afford to buy the yeah. stuff anymore. So that whole part of the restaurant shut down. And then the guy gives me the menu, and it's half of what it used to be. Okay. <clears throat> and there's one sandwich on it, which is a burger, <laughs> and it's $25. Yeah. A steak, a, a New York strip, 62 bucks. 62 bucks. And if you wanted a side of string beans or a baked <laughs> potato, guess how much? Seven. $15. <laughs> Wow, fifteen dollars! You're in the high roller suite in there in Atlantic City. No, no, I was down. I was down there on a free room on a comp room. I'm messing around. No, I know, but it, we used to be able to go down and spend thirty three bucks at guys. Yeah, and have a meal. Teresa and I would split everything. It was really good. Have a couple of drinks. But now, now it would have been. I I, I can't get a steak for. I'm not paying sixty two dollars for a fucking. Like, look steak. at the menu and like, I ain't, we are out of here, sir. And and he <laughs> and that we finished our drinks. Teresa had a uh, thank God it was happy it was happy hour. Yeah, yeah. So wine was half price and beer draft beers were half price. But she still paid seventeen dollars for a glass of wine. Yeah, you just get a bottle for yourself. Yeah, she goes. I got a whole bottle in the room. I spent eight for. What am I doing? Yeah, for a nine ounce pour, seventeen dollars. <laughs> and it's not even good wine. No, nah, it's probably like the house, whatever that is. Yeah, I mean. It was eight bucks for a Heineken. 
Yeah, well, that, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's that's so, but that's the stuff that's going on, and you know, you're putting. Not only are you killing the people that want to go and have a nice meal, but you're killing the businesses. Yes. And then on top of that, you're killing the people who work for those businesses. Or the people that supply those businesses, like, like the butchers, the seafood it's, places. You know what I mean? Like, it's trickle down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they bashed Reagan for years, trickle down economics, blah, 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 blah. But it trickles down either way, good or bad. Yeah. You know, when businesses are doing good, prices come down, people can afford it, people spend money. No one's spending money because they can't. I bet. Yeah, listen, honestly, I would. I, you're, you're, there are people. I mean, you look, you go to the mall tomorrow. There'd be people in there. I don't know if they're spending money or not, but go to Walmart. People are spending money. The problem is, is that they're spending the money and they don't have it. Right. <laughs> there's another, racking up debt. There's another report where credit card debt is at the highest it's been. Most of these, like car repossessions, are over. I mean, you, you can go and you ask, go to your bank, go to your local bank. They may give it to you, but I mean, they're, they're probably at like 140, 150 repos a bank. It's terrible. Because people, like you just said, like, you know, people are going down the one car. People are, <laughs> they don't have a choice. And it's like you said, like, and again, most people got their bit, you know, their raise in, in February or March. And now it's like, dude, that, you know, the, whatever, 25, 60, a dollar. Got, Even if you got a dollar raise, which is most of the time it's pretty good. I think I got less than 3%. But even if you got a dollar raise per hour, it doesn't make, doesn't account for no. your driving if you have to drive a distance to no, work. No, it doesn't account for the toll else. increases and the, and the, the fuel. fuel increases. I used to spend 30 bucks to fill my car up. Now it's $65 twice a week. Yeah. That's insanity. Not to mention the, Fifteen dollars a day in tolls I gotta pay. Well, the tolls didn't go up. They go up every. Yes, they did. Didn't it? no? They. <laughs> I mean, no, they didn't go up. No, I'm saying they go up every year, but they haven't. It's not like they're like they went up significantly the last one. I know it's like a dollar. That's crazy. Damn Jersey. And they're not doing anything to to the roads aren't any better. What are you talking about? They're paving the turnpike. Yeah, great job. It's, no, it happened. They probably got all these federal funds and they're like, you better start using it or we're going to take it back. All right, let's just fucking mill the turnpike. I mean, it was fine. Yeah. They, they yeah. just paved that part of the turnpike last year because they just redid it. I know. But they're doing it's, all the neighborhoods around here too. Well, it's because they're replacing all the water line or the sewer lines oh. or the water <laughs> and or the water lines. I got you. They just, they just repaved Fates, Fitzwatertown. Then they dug it all the fuck up again. Dave, I will, you know, you sent me, I wanted to bring this up because I was, I was really excited because I, I, Pete Booty Edge came in my mind last Saturday. You sent me, you you sent me to Long Island yeah, and all the parkways and expressways are all like, you can't just pass your cars only or seven, seven, 10 was the height for the bridges. Mm -hmm. And I'm in one of the, you know, our little sprinter van, it's 10 foot. And I started thinking about, damn, that Pete. Booty Edge was right. These damn racist highways and expressways. How are you supposed to get a bus down here? It's no fair. Uh, racist highways. Yeah. yeah. We need to tear those br- buses. We need, we need yeah. to tear down those those bridges and overpasses so that, you know, the regular folk can get to the beach. All right? It's not fair. I know. the um, The American people need to pull together. They need to realize what's going on. They need to realize that they're purposely separating us all. We all come together. This government folds. It well, does exactly what we want. But, yeah, you saw what happened in Sri Lanka. But they're I mean, v- even very they, good at keeping us uh, separated. Oh, it's and that's yes. what all this racist shit uh, is the, all the about. The Roe versus it's it, yeah, it's all decisions that are made. The, the left versus right. <laughs> you know, what I mean, who decided to come up with Democrats and Republicans or whatever? The you know, I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like it's just. Just another way to divide us, like you said, race, decisions. You're either for the juice or not for the juice. You either believe in climate or you don't. Like, uh, what is my opinion? What, like, in the grand scheme of things, however I feel, I'm not I'm not attacking you. I'm not bothering you with my my beliefs. You're, you're for God. You're not for God. You know what I mean? Like, you believe what you believe. I'll believe what I believe. And at the end of the day... <laughs> We still need to come together and fight for this country, regardless of like, hey, I believe this is real. Well, I don't, but 
we need a better country. We ne- we need to stand together about it. And there's a lot of people that just follow along and go, yeah, I, I believe that this is like they're, the causes that are being championed are ridiculous. That that's the stuff you're going to get behind. I'll get behind just about anything, but people got to realize that this this country was found on individualism, not groups of people. We're all not, I mean, I don't know. What's important is your individualism. Yeah, you can agree on stuff, but you're also yeah. stuff that you like to keep to yourself and you're like, eh, you know what, I don't really like what he's talking about, but I don't mind the guy. Yeah, you know listen, I mean? I, I'm, I'm not a fan of all these, I'm not... I, Anybody in government, I'm 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 skeptical of all of them. Democrat, Republican, Independent, yes, uh, Libertarian. I'm skeptical. I'm I'm skeptical of all of them and their motivations, their motives. I'm especially now. So, yeah, so you because know, it's turned into a career job. Right now, <laughs> right now, our biggest threat is the white liberal Democrat. That's our biggest threat. And if we don't defeat that threat, I mean, that's the only way to win. The, that are the arguments. I mean, you're not allowed to have political uh, debates. You're not allowed to talk about things. Yeah. You're not allowed to express your opinion or your ideas. That is really, really concerning to me. Well, if your ideas don't align with theirs, then well, that's the problem. That's, you're the problem. That's not this. That's not what this country was founded on. I agree with you. The country was founded on a bunch of guys getting together in a fucking auditorium and yelling at each other, and then voting. Yeah, you know, and 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 swaying people's opinions with the value of your argument. That's gone. Oh yeah, now it's just it's just the. The boosters, the people that are endorsing you, you're, you know what I mean? Like all that other stuff. It's yeah. just the people that are helping you stay in that position because it's all about power and money. I mean, there's a reason why Pelosi keeps on running. Like, why don't you hang it up, you old hag? I mean, regardless of whether you think she's great or not, that's fine, but why don't you hang it up? Well, she thought the sash was a necklace. Did you see that? <laughs> I didn't. Well, they went to put the sash on her and she yeah. thought it was going around her neck. Yeah. And she bailed down, and the woman putting it on her is like, no, get up. It's a sash. She's an idiot. Uh, she didn't know. She's 80. She's an old woman. What She's a very say? old woman, yeah. It's... What do you expect? And you know what? I'm sure the dopes in San Francisco will somehow find her way into the house again, and it's... Well, she won't be the... Ha- wh- she won't be the speaker. My concern is, like, especially, like, in your districts and stuff, like, what's your congressman or woman... Or House of Rep, you know, your representative. What are they doing for your area? What are they doing for you? Because I, I, I know I sent you a good post. It was like I didn't vote for vaccine mandates. I didn't vote for digital IDs. I didn't vote for CBDCs. I didn't vote for all this nonsense that they're trying to push on us. Yeah. Endless pandemics. I didn't vote for all this. I voted for people to take care of this country. And the people within it. I didn't vote for the war in Ukraine to keep on sending this guy because he feels like it money and, and arms and we're we're hurting our own stockpile. So if somebody does come to get us, it's gonna be hard for us to fight back. Other than the three hundred million guns that are in the country that we have already registered. Yeah, I might have to get another one. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna get an AR twenty two fifteen. An assault rifle, Clint? How dare you? I'm just going to assault people <clears throat> with the my bayonet blade. That'll do. That'll do, Piggy. <clears throat> that'll right. do. And speaking of that'll do, that'll put an end to this episode. Fantastic. Fantastic. Bigly. Bigly big. Good chat, Dave. All right, man. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. And uh... Listen, make sure you're hitting these first Warrior Recon 1 links in the description box. Hit them. Thumbs up too. Thumbs keep, up. Yeah, get the get the thumbs share. up. Share. Yeah. And share if you care. Subscribe, like, if and you share. Don't, you won't. That's right. All right, everybody. Orange Men Podcast is out.